Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another grocery haul for you. It seems really sparse for some reason, but let me assure you it costs probably more than I've spent recently, but I think there were a couple higher priced items that I don't normally get and I'll show you those. Most of these things are of course high protein, um, and if you watched my channel, you know that I am in a calorie deficit, trying to get a lot of protein. I am trying to build muscle and lose fat. So yeah, a lot of this is protein. Some of it's restocking, but I'm gonna share everything with you. So I hope you stick around. Just a few produce items. Of course, I always get the romaine hearts. I've been kind of into the Asian salads, um, which I shared, I believe, in what I eat in a day. I use the Panera Asian dressing you buy in the store. It's so good. So I also shared, I think, um, probably when I showed that in one of my grocery hauls, that when they don't carry it in the Panera restaurant, the salad, they a lot of times will sell the dressing in the grocery store. So that makes me very happy. And also my husband made some homemade Caesar dressing. Oh my goodness, he just makes the best Caesar dressing. So I was kind of on a kick with that. So I had no lettuce left in the house. So this is just a restock. Another restock, as you all know, zucchini. I eat this with my Greek dinners and or my quesadillas in the morning. I cut it up real small, put it in a mason jar, and every morning I can take a little bit out of the jar. It's perfect. And I bought some baby spinach. I am going to try a new recipe this week. It's a skinny taste recipe, and it's for tortellini soup, and it calls for spinach. So I bought a bag of baby spinach. I'm probably going to use all this in the soup, I think, even if it doesn't call for it. I love greens in my soup. And of course, if it's too much, I will use it as part of a salad probably or in my omelets. That would be really good. Moving down the line, just another restock of peppers. I like these three peppers and these always seem to be on sale. And I thought, okay, they're going to stop carrying them, but they always do. It's a better deal than if I just buy like one of the colored peppers, you know, individually. So it's perfect. Another restock, as you all know, I love cucumbers. This is an English cucumber. It looks a little worn. I think there's a split in it somewhere, but I'm going to kind of take a look at it a little bit closer. And as I've mentioned before, this is a grocery delivery. And if something is not right or rotten or whatever the case may be expired, they, no questions asked, will just give you your money back. So I'm going to look at this to see if I can use it or I'm going to have to throw it away. We'll see. And then a butternut squash, one of my favorite things for this time of year. Mostly I just roast it with some herbs. Um, as kind of a side dish, like a potato, like a roasted potato, that's my favorite way. I might make some butternut squash soup. I'm not exactly sure yet, but these last a long time. Like if I just use half as roasted and I leave the other half wrapped in some saran wrap, it stays for quite a while. So I don't peel it or anything. I usually leave the bottom half and it, it lasts for a pretty long time. So that's good. And then just two apples, probably the biggest apple I've ever seen. <laughs> it's huge, but I love this time of year to have apples with the Trader Joe's peanut butter, which I actually don't have. So I think I'm going to have to break down and try the powdered peanut butter. I have it and I like it in certain things. I've never tried it as like a spread, but I might have to try that. Last produce item is just an avocado. Again, hard as a rock, so I'll put it in a paper bag for a couple days and it'll be perfect. I've been craving avocado toast, probably because my husband bought this really nice whole grain bread. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I need to make avocado toast. So hopefully in a couple days I can have that. I'll save a piece of the bread to the side for myself. I think that would be delicious. Add some eggs to it. Yum. 
Okay, this might seem like a weird ingredient, but this is what I use when I make the tricolor cookies or some people call them Napoleon cookies. It's the one that have the three colors with the jam in the middle and the chocolate on the outside. And the only reason I got it so early in the year, usually I make it around Christmas time, is it was on sale and this can be quite pricey. So I'm glad they had it. Now I don't have to worry about it, but it is pricey and that's even on sale. I guess that's what added to my total. And then I bought some couscous. I love couscous. For years, I bought the one from Trader Joe's. It was a whole wheat one and they actually did away with it. I'm so sad. They, they don't carry it anymore. So I gave in and they didn't have whole wheat at my store. So I just want to have some, um, and I'll show you what protein I'm going to have with that for dinner. But, um, you know, I don't think it's great. Let's see. So for a third of a cup of dry, which is quite a bit, I probably would only do a quarter of a cup. It does have seven grams of protein, which surprised me and a little bit of fiber, but I would just do a little bit um, and I'll show you what protein I will pair with that. And another kind of pricier item is the Starbucks. I like the Blonde Rose and I completely ran out. It's been a little while. I have other kinds, but this is really my favorite. It happened to be on sale, but this is quite a big box. So it's still, you know, added to the total of my groceries a little bit, but now I have it, I'm happy. Some more protein items, as you probably have already seen many times. I love the Quest salt Salted Caramel and it's 30 grams of protein for one. And I forgot what the calories were, let's see, 170. So what I do is I either brew a little small cup of coffee, like a strong one, add some collagen to it, and then pour this over ice, let it cool, pour it over ice, put this in the cup, mix it around, delicious. It's a little higher in calories so than my normal coffee. So I don't drink it every day, but it's a really good source of protein. And it's good that I can mix the collagen in it. Or sometimes I'll just add some cold brew to this with some ice. It depends on what I, how much protein I need that day. And then my most recent favorite is this Strawberry Fairlife protein shake. Oh my goodness. I think I mentioned in one of my last grocery hauls, um, this tastes delicious. It tastes like strawberry quick, <laughs> but it is 42 grams of protein, which is really, really good, but it's 230 calories. So if I don't have enough calories, of course, I don't drink this, but when I do, it's almost like a treat, but I'm still getting so much protein. I actually had one today, um, but I have none left now, so I usually just buy two at a time. Again, because I can't do it every day because of the calorie count, but really delicious. And I bought some of my favorite non bread. And let me just show you what this kind of looks like. I'm sure everyone knows. It's so good. It's a little better than pita, in my opinion. So for one, it's 150 calories. Let's get a little closer. It's four grams of protein. One gram of fiber, not great, but it's got a little bit of protein. What I normally do with this is it's part of my Greek meal. So I serve tzatziki to dip the naan bread. I also make usually zucchini. I grill it or saute it or bake it um, or eggplant or peppers or all of that. <laughs> and I either marinate some chicken thighs, chicken breasts, um, one time I made lamb meatballs, which were good. Um, as I've mentioned, not the hugest fan of lamb, but I can eat two meatballs. It's got a lot of protein and it's tolerable. <laughs> and my husband loves lamb. So once in a while, I like to make that for him. Then these two items during this time of year, I just like to have this on my shelf just in case one day I feel like making chili or soup and I just have this on hand so I don't have to worry about not having it. I just made chili on Friday, which was actually really good. It was kind of a recipe I just made up myself and it was really, really good. I was kind of surprised, <laughs> um, but I just put all the things that I love in it and it was really good. I did put black beans, which my husband requested, but it was really good. 
Okay, now we're getting into the protein, the real protein, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, so this is just some pork chops. These are the boneless ones. They're kind of on the thicker side. Um, I kind of like the medium, but they never quite have the ones that I like. These are pretty close. Um, last grocery haul, or maybe two ago, I bought a pork tenderloin, which of course comes with two inside. That was really yummy. I made that one night, just one of them. And then probably a week later, I made the other one. And it's really good. I spice it up. It cooks really quick. We usually have leftovers, of course, that I can put over a salad or um, just on the side with some vegetables. So yeah, but today we're doing pork chops. We're actually having these tonight with some mushrooms that I have in the fridge that I don't want to go bad. Um, probably on the side, I will roast some cauliflower. Mentioned this many times too. I roast it right from frozen, a 425 degree oven, and I just spray it with some avocado oil, season it up, and it's really, really good. Then another restock. I always like to have this in my fridge, just some chicken breasts individually wrapped. Then I bought this chicken Italian sausage. I like this Premio brand. And actually this is for the tortellini soup. And Skinny Taste mentioned to use this brand or she likes this brand too. So it was perfect. As I've mentioned many times, I just buy this every week or every two weeks when I get a grocery delivery. I like to have it on hand. Last time I think yeah, I made meatloaf, turkey meatloaf. Another skinny taste recipe that I love, and I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I used to make the Oprah Winfrey version. It was her cook who wrote a cookbook, um, and it's all her favorite recipes, and he makes a really nice turkey meatloaf. Delicious, but it's got like a thousand ingredients in it. The one from Skinny Taste is definitely much quicker for a weeknight. So I might make that again, or sometimes I just mix it with my spaghetti sauce and have some protein pasta with it. Sometimes I split it in half and half of it gets some taco seasoning and the other half goes in my sauce, but I always want to have this on hand. Then I did buy the ground lamb. My idea for this is to either make my Greek um, kind of a sheet pan with these meatballs on it, which I've done before. I think it's a chew recipe from Katie Lee, and it's really good, but it's got potatoes and some tomatoes on it, which I normally leave out. So I might just create my own version or just make the meatballs and serve it over couscous. We'll see. This is another thing that I just like to have in my freezer at all times. I love the baby broccoli florets, so I just keep this in my freezer for whenever I need it. Then I ordered some of the frozen top spinach in case they didn't give me the baby spinach. I wanted to make sure I had some spinach for the soup that I'm making. And this is the tortellini I'm going to use for the soup. And the recipe does call for this exact one. So let's see what kind of macros we have here. So for one cup of the tortellini, it's 11 grams of protein. That's pretty good. And 250 calories. So maybe I'll film me making that soup because I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. It's been a while. Ooh, I just realized it's ravioli. <laughs> it's supposed to be tortellini. Oh, no. Well, I think it'll still work. I'll just, I might have to adjust the cooking time, but oh, my goodness. I just noticed that. That might have been my mistake, though, because they didn't say it was a substitution. So, oh, so silly. But that's okay. It's going to be good. I'll still use it. I'll still make the soup the same exact way. Like I said, just watch the timing for the pasta. Then another restock, as always. I always buy these. <laughs> now, I noticed in my store, and I might have mentioned this to you before, they have the thick-cut mozzarella. It doesn't taste any different, but I don't know, just something a little different. This is the part skim. This is my store brand and then my reduced fat cheddar. So let me flip it over and look at the protein. So for a quarter of a cup, it's seven grams of protein and 90 calories. I think that's pretty good. And for the mozzarella, let's see, quarter of a cup is 80 calories and six grams of protein. 
And as always, I restocked on my tzatziki. Um, if you're new here, whoops, <laughs> if you're new here, I buy this almost every time I get groceries. I like it when I make a breakfast quesadilla sometimes and I put zucchini in it. This is a nice little dipper. Of course, I also use it for that naan when I'm making Greek dinner. Sometimes I just use it with as a dip for cucumbers. <laughs> it's so, so good. I'm like addicted to it. Again, I, I can make my own. I used to make it all the time. It just doesn't last that long in the fridge. This one, of course, lasts a lot longer. So this is what I like to buy. It's 35 calories for two tablespoons and two grams of protein. This is another thing I've been buying recently. I like to have this after the gym if I don't have that many calories for the day because it gives me just only 50 calories, but 10 grams of protein. It's basically double the amount of protein to calories, so it's perfect, and it tastes so good. Unfortunately, they only gave me one. I, I did order two, but that's okay. I have those strawberry shakes. I also have my protein powder so I can make a protein smoothie. So yeah, I'm all set. I needed some more light sour cream. This is the one I like, the Daisy. It's 35 calories for two tablespoons and two grams of protein. So what I use this for is for my quesadillas, if I make them in the morning, I will have two tablespoons of this with some picante sauce mixed together and I use it as a dipper, it's really good. But also we like it on our chili with some grated cheese, so I'll use it that way also. Or very infrequently, but occasionally I will make a little dip out of it for vegetables. Another favorite of mine that I found recently is this Good Culture Cottage Cheese. I know everyone's on the bandwagon with it, but these have fruit in them. The only two flavors I see at my store are the pineapple, which is my favorite, or the strawberry, they hardly ever have the strawberry for some reason. And I think it's weird because I think most people would say pineapple's their favorite, but today they didn't have strawberry, so I did get two pineapple, which I'm glad. So as you can see, it's only three grams of sugar, which is probably naturally, well actually, let's look at that. Yeah, there's no added sugars, so it's probably part of the dairy the um, cottage cheese, but also it's 100 calories and 15 grams of protein. That is excellent. And I actually like to have it as a little dessert. Um, it's good because it's not a lot of calories, but it gives me a real protein boost at the end of the day. And speaking of lots of protein, <laughs> I like the Daisy Cottage cheese, the plain one. I like it even a little better than the Good Culture, which I'm glad because they don't have the plain Good Culture. Um, low fat. I think they might have full fat and stuff like that, but at my store, this is what's more readily available and I actually like it. So for half a cup, it's 90 calories and 12 grams of protein. I will usually add this to my eggs if I'm making scrambled eggs or a quesadilla to just up the protein a little. I only add about maybe a tablespoon or two. Or sometimes I take about a quarter of a cup of it. I'll add some cinnamon and a little sweetener. Oh my goodness, it's like from back in the day of Weight Watchers, but that's really yummy. Sometimes even for breakfast, I will just toast up a piece of bread, put about a quarter of a cup on each, and then put either some sliced tomato on it, or um, what have I done before? I think I did hard boiled eggs once. I'll link those. I think I either did shorts of those or put it in my what I eat in a day video. So I'll link that. It just adds some protein and I think it's delicious. It gives a little creaminess to the eggs. It's really, really good. And last item is just some egg whites, of course. Always gotta have the egg whites and three tablespoons is 25 calories and five grams of protein. And of course, I mix about a quarter of a cup of this with one egg in the morning. That's usually how I make my eggs with the cottage cheese. It's one of my favorite ways and probably pretty much the only way I make them. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's really good. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. 
I do cook with me videos. Of course, I do grocery hauls. I do what I eat in a day. I kind of do videos showing my journey, my weight loss journey and my results. So if you like that kind of content, please subscribe. I would love it and have a great day, everyone.